get it rolling, okay? So I, I've just clicked the record button. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put up your presentation now, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, you should see um, a young... I see. Uh, I see it there. <laughs> playing for Longford Town. Do you see yourself? I see it there, yeah. The good old days, eh? Great days. You can well, never forget it. You'll never forget it. Well, we'll never forget you and Longford, that's for yeah. sure. Um, I know. I, that's, why, I, that's why I said in my um, post cap there um, with James the last couple of weeks, you know? Yeah. When you play for Longford, you're always a Longford. You're always Longford inside of you, you know, because the people are so nice, you know what I mean? Absolutely, man. And uh, thanks a million for coming on and doing the podcast. How are you getting on with this COVID-19? How's life? Oh, yeah, it's the, it's the same way like when I used to go training in Longford, just get on with the job. <laughs> you can't do the nothing. Job. When, when, the, when the going gets tough, the tough get going, right? Yeah. You, you just got to do what you have to do because, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's a virus. You must just keep yourself away from the stuff that is going to bring your harm. So you got to um, look out for yourself and your family and keep yourself going, you know? You know what I mean? Well, you always have the music there. You're doing a bit of DJing, are you? Yeah, yeah, I always do a little DJ, but now, at the moment, not because, um, you know, like you said, the virus is, and you can um, have a lot of people yeah, anywhere yeah. in the club and stuff, so no, I'm not at the moment. <laughs> you should do a Facebook Live, you know, with Eric Levine or an Instagram Live. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to do one in the next couple of weeks, man. I just oh, nice. get Everybody, get myself. we'll all tune in. The whole of Longford will be in looking at you doing your DJ. Good, so. <laughs> all right. So let's tip off, Eric. Tip off in yeah. soccer terms. I have a few questions. Can you see the? Can you see the? I can see everything. I can see everything. That's awesome. Right. So my first question for you is: What was your favorite ground uh, to play on, apart from Flancare Park, or I'm not sure what they're calling Flancare at the moment, but apart yeah, from yeah. Ground, what was your favorite ground to play on? Go United. Oh yeah. It yeah, it was always, you know, Terry it was Lampers. always, yeah, yeah, Terry Lamb Park was always um, perfectly um, full of grass. No matter what time of year it was, it was the best, one of the best pitches in the in the country, you know. I, I don't mind Daily Mount Park in them, but they're not so like um, Terry Lamb Park because, you know, at Daily Mount Park, they have a, one, one, at one side, they have um, something like a kind, a little hill. Sometimes when you go into the um, in front of the, the goals, yeah, yeah, exactly on the edge of the square, little... on the edge of the box. Yes, yes, yes. Man, I played there. I played in there. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. So I, I find that Galway United was the best, um, uh, one of the best, better um, field pitches, and um, yeah. What about the like swamp? Uh, did you ever play down the swamp? Did you? I played on the swamp a few times. That is a killer. <laughs> that was a killer, yeah. yeah. It's nice yeah. And on days like today now, the swamp is good. A day like today, it would be perfect. Yeah, but when it, it rains, when it rains, oh, when it rain, yeah. forget it. In mid, forget middle, it. Of, middle of January there, after the Christmas, yeah. when it's slashing rain and windy, forget about it. The ball is all over the shop. Yeah, if you don't get, if you're not, not hard enough, a man from the West, then you can forget about it. Don't go down oh, there. Totally <laughs> That's me old no. G. Very good. Yeah. And uh, what would you usually do uh, to pass the day on a big match day? So you're going for an all or for a SFAI Cup or yep. FAI Cup uh, quarterfinals. What would you do that day just to to prepare for the game? Well, that starts like the day before. The days before we train very hard, and then we go through the set plays and everything. And then you, uh, the manager call you and tell you what you then need to do on the day. You go home and you look it up and you study it. And you eat well this night or, and then in the morning you meet up with the team, whatever. And then you know you, you start preparing from there. You have your uh, meetings, your mid midday meetings, and you go through it. And then, um, then you get ready a bit of chitty chatty, bit of walking here, walking there, and you get your head around it. And then you go there. You're okay. tuning. Tune You're in, tuning. get the head, get the head on the game. Yep. And what would you usually eat on a match day? What would be your maybe 
Well, most of the, uh, I mean, most. I used to be with um, Alan Kirby and Sean Pronti and these boys all the time. We was a, you know, uh, a tree gang, you know. We were always together, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And uh, Gary, Gary Casson and these boys. So we used to be like Longford Town locals, you know. We did locals because all the rest. Don't, don't forget. Would you go for lunch with them during the day? Yeah, we go for lunch. We go for lunch in Longford. We eat in Longford, or I go to Alec Kirby and I eat by Alec Kirby, and then we go drive into Dublin or where we have to drive to meet up with the other team, and then get on the bus and go wherever you know. Or less, we are staying in the hotel, then we all eat together, you know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd, they'd organize a pre-match meal. And what yeah. about um, if if for a young up-and-coming striker, uh, what tip would you offer a young up-and-coming striker now? So seventeen. 16 year work, old work hard, himself. work hard, give it your all, and you know, you, your best is only could be good enough when you work hard because the other players are hungry for it. And that was my one of my main, 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 main um, points where I, I had a lot of success in my career because you know, you come into teams like Longford, they're a hard working team. Longford wasn't the best footballing team in, in the league. But then after a few years, after two, three years, we were <laughs> we were one of the top teams. I mean, football-wise then, because we learned to get yeah. as a team. We worked hard as a team, and then we worked hard as a team. And that was the success of Longford, because we worked hard. And then we were able to play football, because we learned how to play football. After a few years, after getting a few um, better players inside, mm-hmm. and then the, the club really started to push on, because at first, Longford was just a hard-working team. But then, can play football, but didn't show their full ability. But after then, like I said, when Stephen stepped in and everything like that, everything started to change. And when Stephen left, everything started to change again. You know, something new, new, yeah. and it was yeah. You just it was work great. hard, work hard on your game. Learn from learn from the older guys. Is it look up? Yeah, look, exactly, look up exactly, exactly, exactly. Very good. And what footballers did you admire growing up? Who who would have been your inspirations? My inspiration, you know, like me, I have a first touch. That is unbelievable. So I, I, I like, I like Zidane. Oh, it's like, easy, yeah. Uh, you know, I like him because, I, you know, I more than not more than myself. My um, like control, my touches from him, and uh, also Ronaldinho. When I see these guys controlling the ball from the air, I used to just go on the pitch and just kick the ball as high as I can, just to control the ball, bring it down, and control it because yeah. I want to be like these boys, you know. And I start getting it when Diggers kicking the ball from so far away and I could catch it, you know, make the crowd. The crowd was very, you know, behind me all the time. So when yeah, the you ball always came, had that touch. You always had yeah. the, the, that classy touch, you know what I mean? Yeah. The, the same yeah. as the, the likes of Ronaldinho, all those boys, you know, just you could trap the ball, no problem, right? Yeah. On the chest, so, yeah. into feet. Yeah, exactly. And what about a manager? What makes a good manager? You've had a few great managers. Who, who have you, who had, have you had, had as I had Don Raiden, my first manager at Galway United. Yeah, yeah, I had, uh, I had Stephen Kenny, my second manager. Very great good. man. I love him. I'm just all, all now, he's fantastic. Can never, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can only sing in praise. I'm happy oh, for him. Like and then, you. my third Manager or managers was Alan Matthews, Alan um, O'Callaghan. Aaron Aaron, Ma- yes, I know Aaron. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, these are people that I learn a lot from. You know that I really um, respect. You know because I learned a lot from them. I was coming through, and they helped me along with my career too. You know, what the, were their characteristics? That, that their you character were a good manager. What was their? They, they were professional. They know what they wanted. They know how to manage um, players. They know how to speak to players to get what they want out of them, you know. Mm. They don't tell you that you're the best. They say, listen, go out there, Eric, and show me, you know. Or yeah. he will show me a trophy. Look, this is what you want here. Listen, go out there and show the people why you get this trophy, you know. And I would go there, that would make me, you know, give me a, a, a target, you know. And I go out there and do what I have to do. Exactly. So they, they kind of, they, they challenged you in a way. Yeah, they challenge you. They motivate you. They challenge you to push you up, the, up to the next level, you know. Perfect. That's a great answer, man. Thank you very much. All right. Are you ready to go through your team? I'm always ready. 
Always ready, man. All right. So <laughs> we'll start off with goals. Now, this one for me, Eric, was uh, quite a surprise. I was nearly sure. Now, we'll, we'll start with the honor match. I was nearly sure it would be Stephen Digger O'Brien in goals. Um, no, 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 no. But anyway, no. we'll talk about Stephen first. So what would you yeah. say about Digger? Digger is a good um, goalkeeper. From the time I was playing with goal and playing against Longford, he was always a great player. Great goalkeeper, very motivated, very, you know, a very... Um, score tight. on him for, for Galway? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. The fucker saved me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Well, Digger, you, got, you didn't get in the team, but at least you, you kept your clean sheet from, from Eric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Digger, yeah, he's a very, I think Digger was a real character, wasn't he? Like, real. Digger, Digger is the, Digger was what the heart, I can say, the heart of Longford Town success, you know? I think so. He always, yeah. always pushed me. He was the heart of Longford success. He and Benny Perk, the two was, you know, great, you know? Great, I must say. Wonderful. Yeah, he wonderful had, boy. He had a great uh, bit of crack with him in the in the dress. Yeah, you could, so you could have a laugh. You know, that's what I mean. You know, they, they, that was that's what I mean by a team. We were a really team. You know, family. You know what I mean? Mm, absolutely. But you went for Air Sealy. Now you'll yes. have to, you'll have to forgive me, but, but I don't know a whole lot about Air Sealy. But you might. Well, I could tell you about Air Sealy. Air Sealy was the um, international man, um, international team goalkeeper. He was. The captain, he was my used to play in the local team in Barbados. He, the team that I used to play for, Gall Hill. He was the goalkeeper. He was the uh, captain. He was the man. He's a man like uh, he's a, a guy like um, Stephen O'Brien. He push. He's a motivator. He's a he's everything. Was you know? he tall? He's very very tall. He looks, very. He, looks, he looks pretty tall in the photos that I found. He's very him. tall and and can play football. He's very. He can also play out of the field, outside the pitch. Oh, that's team. always good for a goalkeeper now because you need a good touch with the, the back pass rule. And he needs a, he's a killer. And is he the captain he's of a, the team? He was the captain of the team. He was the captain of the uh, Barbados team as well. And is he captain of this team? Um, no, he's not the captain of this team, no. Oh, he's not he the captain, captain of this team because you, you never told me who was. But you can tell me. Don't, 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 no spoiler, no spoiler. You can reveal the captain, but... Air Sealy got the got the nod in net. Yes, he got the nod. A safe pair of hands. A safe face, very safe pair of hands. That's what you need, right? Cool. All right, let's move on. Right full back, you went for Paul McNally. No, I Paul I did uh, Paul Paul Mally, Paul McNally in his right full back. I put him in it uh uh right for him now. I I give him the on the Hold on a minute. Can you hold on a minute? Yeah. Zoom, share screen, Eric, share. Good. Right. So we're back. Yeah. Zoom start. All right. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. I don't. I don't go for Paul Matnali. Um, I go for Paul Matnali. Um, center he half. Must be center half with with um, Graham Gartland. Ah, okay. I didn't really know. Okay, so Paul. But I. I, I I will go to the team with you. Dylan. And then where's Dylan then? All right, okay. So we, we'll just... Dylan, we'll no, uh, let go to... Position wait, wait, wait. First. Dylan will be right back. Ah, okay. So this is... So Paul McNally is supposed to be your center half. Okay. Yes. I was a bit confused there. Right. So why did you go for Paul center half? Because he's cool, calm, and collective, and a wonderful, wonderful man. And a great friend of mine, yeah. all today. When did you um, join? You joined Longford Town at the same time, or was he there before you? No, he was there a long time before me. Yeah, a legend. A legend. Great man. 
He's one of the lads I think that started with that Longford team that, that nobody really gave them a chance. A chance of anything, you know, and he just kind of stuck with it and, and brought the team right up. Um, an absolute legend, yes. So hang on a second. Can I uh, do something here if I go? Uh, no, I'm not going to change anything. We'll just, we'll, uh, we'll just, I, whoever's listening, Paul McNally is uh, center half, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, or do you want to stop this and do it again, Eric? Or no. Carry on. No. No, we carry on, man. It's no problem. Yeah, I think it's your, this is his back four, all right? So Paul McNally yeah. is uh, center half. Yeah. Graham Gartland is the other center half. Graham Gartland. Yes. Yeah. That's my man. <laughs> you know Graham well, do you? I know him. Yeah. I know him like my uh, the back of my hand. <laughs> He's a gentleman. He's a great boy. You know how, do you know how I know Graham Gartland? How? I played uh, my soccer, my underage soccer in Dublin uh, for a ah. school boy for a schoolboy club called Stella Maris. Okay. Uh, we signed I, I get... Graham, I think, under 15, under 16. He, he, I played okay. with him under 50. Yeah, always a, a very good baller, right? Yeah. He's a great baller. And he, uh, Graham is also a good competitor. He's, you know, he's yeah. aggressive. You need a calm man with aggression. And that's, uh, he have it. He's very good on the ball. He can pick a good pass out. He can play with his right or left foot very strong in the air. You know, he's my ideal man for that position, yeah, I must say. Very, a very good career as well after Longford with Drogheda. And then now I think he's, he's, I put Rovers, um, I put the Rovers crest up there because I think he's with Rovers at the moment. Uh, and he played with Rovers as well. But he played for a good few clubs. But definitely, even after with Longford, I, I think he might have won an... And another FAI Cup with Drogheda, maybe, you know, after yeah, he won. That. I think he went on and won the FAI Cup, and then he won the um, Satanta Cup, I think. As well, yeah. So he had an excellent career. But yeah, I think, if I, if I recall correctly, good, good left foot. Yeah, good left foot. Very good. Very, very left good left foot. foot. Yeah, yeah. And a very good talker, you know, as a center very half. Good. You know. Very good. Yeah. Very good. A real, a real kind of. I don't know. I, I always thought he had a lot of class on the ball. He's very calm on the ball. Forward going, he's very good. So Paul McNally, kind of right side of centre. and then, Yeah, kind of right side. And then Graham on the left. Yep. And would they have played together, Paul and Graham? Uh, no. No, no. They would have been on, on different teams. So Graham joined yes. a little bit later than Paul. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Right, well, that's a solid centre half. I, okay, so Sean Dillon then is your right back, right? Sean Dillon is my right back. Dillo, my man. Do you know how I know Sean Dillon? Uh huh. I played when, I, when me and Graham Garden were playing for Stella Maris. Sean, yeah. Dillon, Sean Dillon was the yeah. center half for Cherry Orchard in Dublin. Yeah, Sean Dillon. He was Mark. Yeah, he was. Sean, good player. Great player. Oh, man. So strong. <laughs> strong is not the word. Oh, dude. He... And, re and very fast. Yeah, so fast. It was one game. I played, I played against Sean Dillon in the lawns for Cherry Orchard. Uh, and I was playing up front for Stella. I was playing nine or... Yeah, yeah I was playing striker. And I was marking Dillon. And it was mm -hmm. one game. I always felt in my career that I was usually fast enough and strong enough for most defenders. But for Sean Dillon, I wasn't. No. He He's was stronger great. than me. He was faster mm. than me. Mm. Yeah. Sean Dillon was very fast. I oh, is very fast. I oh, was very fast. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you would mark him at training, would you? Ah, sometimes he marks me. Sometimes he, he marks, uh, you, marks yeah. me. Mm -hmm. I see sometimes he taught him a few tricks too. Ah, I taught him a few little tricks. So he teach me a few little tricks himself. He had a few little tricks of his own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He was that I, think, 
he had a super career as well. He went from Longford then on up to Dundee United, and he won a, I think he won a Scottish Cup. That yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, phenomenal. He did. He did. He deserved everything that he got. I'm very, 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 very happy with him. Yeah, you're happy with how he went. I'm sure he'd be happy to be on this team because, like, this is not an easy team to make, Eric Levine. No, my 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 team is not easy. I very I, I could have gone through tens of millions of players because Longford Town has so many greats, like Barry Ferguson. Oh yeah, Barry you know, Fair as your honourable mention there as well. He's yeah, another. He could be. Yeah, he could be in the in the in the um. He could be in the um, also in the in the team, but a uh, 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 defender. But you can't put everybody. You need somebody in the bench as well, you know. Yeah, yeah. Barry you know? would be a good one to have on the bench. So yeah, That's what I mean. Sean, solid. Sean is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I must yeah. Say. And, and a gentleman as well. I'd say I don't actually know him very well. I just played against him that one time in, uh, mm -hmm. in the lawns, and I and I left the field kind of embarrassed, but. He, he was class. Yeah, Sean is class, man. I think he's still playing. Montrose. I don't know if he's still playing or he's coaching. I don't know. One or two. But last are, time I know... Are you any coaching, coach. Eric? Yeah, I'm coaching, yeah. Where are you doing that? Down in Galway, is it? I don't even live in Galway anymore. Oh, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. No worries. Do you, you, know where, you know where you're talking to me from? Oh, um, I have no idea, man. Where are you? In Germany. Are you? Yeah. Cool, dude. Nice one. That's awesome. And you do I live in Germany. There. Yeah. Hi, I don't have a lot of. Give me a second. I look it. I look it. Yeah. You're doing a lot of coaching. Nice, man. Good lucky kids or lucky. Who are you coaching? Adults or teenagers or what? I'm coaching on the 19s. Nice. And seniors. Cool, man. Sweet, sweet. You know, I'm an Eintracht Frankfurt fan. Mm -hmm. He's a Frankfurt. He now come in the house just now from the okay. cycling. Yeah. All right, yeah. Good one. Yeah. Left full hey. Paisley. Paisley with honorable mention Ryan Casey. Now, Ryan Casey, I don't know too much about. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, Ryan is all good, but first, Stephen Paisley. Stephen Paisley is a. Uh, Phenomenal player. Mm. Phenomenal. He is so good. He is so good. Cam on the ball. He can also play any uh, uh, the central defender. Yeah. You know? Versatile. Yeah. And for him, for me, to him, to put him in there, that's a big respect because he helped us a lot to win this um, the, uh, the FAI Cup in that, you know? He yeah, was a great yeah. lad there. That's why I'm talking about the quality that we had for players that came back from England it was unbelievable what we had, you know? Yeah. So we had you to keep something. Manchester City, I think. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I could even put um, Brian, Brian McGowan, you know? He was there, uh, you know? There's a lot of players that can put in. And Macker. Yeah. You know? There were more players that I could have put in, but I can't put all, like I said. We have but, too much. But Paisley got the nod. Why? Was he just very <laughs> clever or what was Very he? clever, very good, very fast too for a big man. And he got the nod. He got a left back. And Ryan Casey, who's who's Ryan Casey? I'm not very clear. Ryan Casey was uh, Ryan Casey not was. Ryan Casey is one of the best footballers you ever would ever come across. Yeah? Yes. Where He's great. He played for Galway with me. He played in Athlone with me. Oh, okay. You know? Uh, yeah. He was the best, best player I've ever come across. Left foot, unbelievable. Yeah, Ryan when Casey. I was, when I was looking for information on Ryan Casey, I saw a lot of, like, he played for Ireland underage as well. He yes, played. he was. Yeah, he played with Alec, Alec Kirby as well when they won the. When they went at that time, when they won or come third, came third or something. So on the, um, I think they came third in the World Cup. Exactly. The Chinese World he, Cup. Or maybe he was in that team. He yeah, played with that, that team. Was, uh, Brian Kerr's kind of crop of players. It was when Ireland exactly. under. He was on, yeah, he was on that team. I saw a lot of photos of him yeah, playing yeah. that team. Yes, he, yeah, he was on that team, yes. So he must have been class. <laughs> yeah. Paisley got in there. 
Casey got in there. Casey <laughs> got in there ahead of, of, of Casey and, and, and a host of other. And if you even looked at, at Casey's career after um, Longford again, if you look at the clubs they go to and the success that they have, like he played, he must played a whole lot of seasons then for Pats and went on to play for Shells. And, yeah, exactly. He had a great career. I'm very, yeah. Will, will remember him well. Mm. An honest player, too. Very, you know? very, very nice boy, too. He worked for the um, FAI now is, as well, too. So. Yeah, yeah. Legend. All right, right winger. I only put his uh, two clubs. I put him there with Waterford and Longford. Now, he played for some other clubs as well. But I just put the two crests up. Curbs. Curbs. <laughs> <laughs> I think he joined when I was there. Yes, he joined the same time that I joined. Yeah, yeah. Some 2000 man. season, 2000, yeah, that time. Yeah. Alan Kirby, my man. That's his, my main man. Legend. Uh, yeah. Yes, he is pure. I mean, he's very close even today. We talk almost every week, once a week. Yeah. I'll chat with Curbs. Is he still playing oh. football? No, no, no. Curbs is more concentrating on his uh, work and his job, you know. He's focusing on, on work on life after football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life after football. Right? He, he, play. Play. he can play. Oh. No, could play. Can play. Yeah. Perfect. What? It's like a dream winger. Yeah, he's fantastic. He can also play um, center mid, uh, midfield. Also, yeah, yeah, you could put him anywhere in the middle. You could probably put him up front or right back as well. You could probably put, oh, him, could put him on the left as well. He could play on the left as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, a very tricky kind of player, you know, dancing around and very good footwork, very brilliant first touch, great crosser of the ball. I'd say for you playing up front, people like him would have, would have perfect. It was perfect because I know where to find him and he knows where to find me. <laughs> Telepathic. Yep. Excellent. And then he put in an honorable mention. We put in Holty there, Stuart Holt. Yeah, Stuart Holt. He's a good boy too. But you know, Stuart was that kind of um, quality lazy player, you know? You know what I mean by lazy? He's a yeah. good boy for pitch. You know, if you can sub somebody when you need a goal, you know, you can sub anybody in the pitch and then you can take them off again. Holt, Holt will be that person, <laughs> yeah. you know? He could, he'd have he'd magic in the boots. He had a serious right foot on him. He could take a free yep. kick there. You know what I mean? He had a great, he actually had great technique, you know. Great. Can't change. You can't get it. He will put it there. And you, he will put it in the goal. In goal. Don't care where you are. He will put it there. He, he is that kind of player. confidence too for it. Oh, yeah. Lots of confidence. But Curbs gets the nod. Curbs get the nod. I think All Curbs. Alan Kirby would get the nod on um, most people's. I, I think he's a League of Ireland legend. And, and do you remember when he scored the goal in the FAI Cup final? I set him up that goal. I know he did. Yeah, I know he did. But do you remember, like, it was against Waterford and he yeah. barely celebrated, like. Yeah, because, you know, it was his for, old man team. That, for a player that came back from England from um, uh, Aston Villa, yeah. it was. And then to play against his old club that he was playing for for most of his life then after he came home. Mm. Yeah, and then to score a goal to stop them from winning the FAI Cup was, you know, that was very hard for him. I think it was, you know, it was hard for him. Imagine scoring a goal in the FAI Cup final and then not really being able to celebrate it. But he was kind of yeah. bittersweet. Yeah. But, but still, yeah, I think so cool. good, good assist. You're going to claim the assist on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Very good, very good. So Curbs is in right winger. Perfect, man. Curbs is the first one, and always the first. <laughs> yeah, he's not your captain, though, is he? Don't worry about it. I will tell you soon. All right. <laughs> Alan Reynolds, midfield. Oh, yeah. Now, you'll have to yeah. refresh my memory here, but... Alan he Reynolds came... I think he joined the same time, around the same time as Curbs, did he? Alan, Alan Reynolds... Alan Kirby and myself, we joined. The, the, we were the three big signings at that time. What was it? Year 2000, 2001? 2000, 2001, yes. Oh, well, I was the other signing. I was the other, the, the, the young lad. <laughs> <laughs> the local lad. But Alan Reynolds, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, good player. 
Great player. I Fantastic. always found him quite scary. He is scary. <laughs> yeah, I was only 17, you know, and I was kind of hanging around with you boys and he was the one guy that I was always kind of scared of. He would go through you, boy. Yeah. <laughs> he don't make sport. Yeah. But he could play ball. Alan Kirby can, I mean, Alan Reynolds can play football. He is a fantastic footballer, fantastic. Aggressive, good skill on the ball, can pass a ball, can pick you out from anywhere to, you know, he's that kind of quality. Great player. And like when we actually played with him, that would have been later on in his career as well. You know what I mean? Like there were, there were years. Yeah, because he left Waterford and came to Longford too. You know, when uh, yeah. we had all the players. And, yeah, it was and great. You, did you play against them for Waterford? I played against them uh, against Waterford, uh, and I think there was one. I was playing for Galway United too as well. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. Uh, and the first year was our first two years, and then. One time we had a challenge, uh, then he, he he got his rib broke. You know, we challenged one another and he got his rib broke. So he never forget that. <laughs> that yeah, I, yeah, I, so he said to me that I, I broke his ribs. Did you? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. He might. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know that, was a, that was a challenge, 50 50. Ah, yeah. But you listen, <laughs> you have to go in for the America. You know, if you don't go oh, yeah. you're in trouble. You're in more trouble. Mm. The tough man. <laughs> yeah. Honorable mention. And Stewie Byrne, yeah. Stewie Byrne, he was a, uh, yeah, he was an old guard for the uh, Longford too. When I first got there, Stewie was there too, you know? Yeah. I'd say, like I said, everybody there can get in the team, but, you know, with, Alan you know, is pure steel, man. Yes. You know, Stree is a more forward going, you know. It's, um, Alan is a man to hold and just play the ball. Stree is a, as a runner. He was fit. He oh, was so yeah. fit. Fantastic hair. <laughs> Fantastic kicker. Fantastic touch. Fanta very stylish player, Stree Byrne. Very, very quiet, like, quiet, quiet, quiet. But he was, uh, when you get on his fit, he could shoot the ball from everywhere. Yeah, lovely footballer, really lovely footballer. Yeah. But 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 mm. Alan Reynolds was made of teak, man. He was he was tough as nails, tough as old. Alan Reynolds is crazy in the burner, in the head. He's crazy. Yeah, but you need the, you need a bit of crazy on the team, you know. So he's kind yes, of yes, you do. You do yeah, need craziness in the team. And he's your holding midfielder. He's the guy that's going to yeah. break up the play and, and set it up again. But he's now managing I Waterford as well, I believe. That's what I mean. They, 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 they have uh, improved a lot, you know, since he was yeah, yeah. training out there. They, they came the top fourth. three or four. Yeah. No. And uh, that's no surprise. No. You need a man just so like that. Your other midfielder is Dean Fitzgerald. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know too much about Dean Fitzgerald. I think he came after me. I don't remember him. Uh, yeah, he, yeah he, was, he was there, but he, and he, he, he won all the cups with us, you know? Yes. Dean is great. He was. He came from. Um, I mean, he played a few teams in uh, Northern Ireland. He played with um, Blah Glentoran. He played with. Yeah, he played with. Um, I thought what that another team name now, no? Um, I don't know. I can't remember. But he was playing with Glentoran, one team. With, right, Glentoran. He played in the Champions. He played with Glentoran. Glentoran. He played with Glentoran, he played with uh, other team as well, um, in Road and Red. Porter Down, Porter Down, yeah. Um, Porter Down. Yeah. Uh, Dean uh, is fantastic there, fantastic character. He's more of fun. Dean is a funny guy. Which, so he's more of an attacking midfielder then, is he? Yeah, yeah, he'd be more attacking than uh, I'm saying. He's a runner. He's so a you runner. You have a uh, nice balance there. With exactly. Alan Reynolds, doing Alan Reynolds and Dean. Dean is my two of them passed together very good. Yeah, good through ball. Yep. Good like in the finals. Yeah. In, in the finals of the FAI Cup. When I set up uh, when I set up uh, Paul 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 Tegan. Yeah. That was Dean that passed uh, the ball to me. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So he had the vision. Yep. He Great won. vision. He played Champions League then with Lentar and then he's like that, I exactly. think that team was was superb, you know, like he was great in there. Dean was great boy. And Vinnie Perth is an honorable mention. 
The Granny Bird is also there. Granny Bird was born in the best. You no, know, good lad too. Very good. I'm sorry that he didn't get the job in Longford. They should have given him the job because I think he was the right man. And now you see what he's doing at um, so Dundalk. No. Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. But sure, Vinny, Vinny was one I think that all, that got the best, did did the best that he could do with what he had. You know what I mean? Like he was able he to wasn't, use his he wasn't body fast. so well. He wasn't so fast, but he could play. Yeah, but he had a head. He had a great head for those. You don't have, sometimes you don't have to be too fast, you know, if you know where no. to be. No, exactly. Yeah, and a very good touch, very good baller, and and I think like Stephen Kenny would probably would have like he, he kind of took the reins over from Stephen Kenny and Dundalk, you know. And exactly. That's, that shows over. you the kind of you know faith that they have in him, you know. So and a character that he can... Oh, he's a legend in Longford. The both of yeah, them. Yeah, good so. Cool man. All right, what's next? Left wing, front. Yeah. Can I get Prunty to go? You know, he's a local boy. He was always there, hard working. Yeah, he was, like I said, me and Alan Kirby and him, you know, we was always together. We drive one, but we drive or, you know, we drive ourselves. Depends on if Sean got his family up there in uh, Dublin and staying over. Or I would pick up Kirby or Kirby would pick me up. You know, you know, we used to drive together all the time. I, uh, he's another legend of Longford football. He like he, uh, he spent most yeah. of his career, nearly all of his career in Longford. You know, he must be. Yeah, shudder, shudder that he didn't um, get further. You know, after that he leaves Longford when he signed for Drogheda, and then he yeah. heart. He had yeah, he had the heart issues. So yeah, it's a yeah. bit sad that he didn't get to to really see out his career. You know. Yeah, yeah. But still, yeah. like. You can't really. He, he, the only thing more that he could have achieved is winning a, a league title. Yeah. You know that's that's pretty much the only thing that he didn't do at Longford was win a league. You know, so you know you win an FAI Cup, two two or two, two FAI Cups. You know, he won everything with Longford. Load of promote, got the promotion. Like had serious mm -hmm. days. He had an unbelievable career. Yeah, but you know, sometimes. Oh. Yeah. 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 Disappointing, but but still, man, he still. has accolades. Yeah, you know. Yeah. 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 There for you, right? Yep. Great man to to whip in a cross. Oh, he, exactly, he cross it from anywhere. Yeah. That's what you need. Lovely left foot on him, and Ollie Kyo got a mention too. Yeah, that's it, my boy. He will have to get there. He can play a striker as well. He's a good boy, good player, I didn't good know footballer. Where to put Ali Kyo, actually, because yeah, I, I was going to put him, put him anywhere. Way. You can put him left, right, center. He's great. And how He's a you know utility player. Who did he play? I play with him. I play with him at Galway. Galway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good player, yeah. Great player. Very great skillful. Player. Yeah, very skillful. He was over at Leeds United too, but then he came home as well. Very good. Yeah, there's a video of him scoring a goal for Sligo. It's an unreal yeah. goal on YouTube. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's great, great player. Yeah, tricky. Very tricky, very fast. But Prunt's got the nod. Prunt's get the nod. He got the nod. That's a huge call. Like, that's a tough position to get in there. Left wing, you know. Prunt's get the nod. Prunt's got the nod, yeah. Well, he probably put good. some balls in on your head, did he? Yeah, he got a good engine. Good engine, Prunt's got. Good oh, engine. Yeah. Huge engine. But, but good, and a great crosser. Great cross. And yeah. a good finisher, too. Scored some nice goals. Scored some nice goals for long. Yeah. Sean, Sean Francis. Francis. Now, I didn't <laughs> know too much about Sean Francis, but I went and did a bit of research. And he was Cole Ramblers for years. And then he, two or three years. And then he moved to Shamrock Rovers for I don't know how long. And then he moved to Longford. So we got him at the end of, our, of his career. I would say that Sean is. I used to admire him from the time I came in the league. What for a fantastic player. The player with him, against, with him was great. Yeah. A fun, funny, funny fucker. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you played against him for Cove and Shamrock Rovers. I played against him for Cove and Shamrock Rovers, and what a player he is. Is he, he good? Is, yeah. Fantastic player. His stats are very good. I was looking at some of his. He is, no, you you can't find a better striker than he. I say uh, because he what he have what he works with. He works 
with you know when you there in front of the goal he doesn't miss you know he just turned you inside out just so yeah. just like that yep and he scores good finisher great friends you can count on him in your friendly goal that he will score you will count he will score he will score well that's what you will. want from your striker so any yeah. young striker listening in Sean Francis is, is yes and ask them about Sean Francis he can teach them a thing or two why is it just when the ball was played into his feet and then if a, if a centre half dived in on him he just turned them was it he just turned them and put it in the back of the net you don't give him room you don't give him a chance to get the ball to his feet Get your feet blocked from Sean. He was unbelievable. But it, when you have the ball to his feet, you cannot get the ball away. He will score. Yeah. Ooh. Top mm -hmm. man. Top man. And he scored in the FAI Cup final, I think, didn't he? I think so. I'm not too sure. I think he scored in the 2003 one. Uh, it, got, it got a bit of a deflection, but he'll take it. <laughs> probably a, that probably goal. a a man that enjoyed uh, enjoyed scoring goals. Sean enjoys scoring goals. Yeah. Sean enjoys scoring goals. Well, you, know? you put yourself up front with him and I don't blame you. I put myself <laughs> in there. As a, I said, if, if Eric is putting himself in, I'm going to put myself in as well. I'm going to go with an honourable mention. You're understudy for a couple of months. Yeah. Yeah, I put myself in there because I used to combine with him great. I yeah. had we had a good understanding, and you know we was um, kind of the same kind of players, you know that like the ball to our feet, but we like working down the channels as well. We like working hard, you know. Yeah. So I put yeah. it here that we have combined, combined and combined with each other was fantastic. You yeah, know? good relationship. Yeah, great relationship we had. Still I do. Imagine, I would imagine if Graham Gartland and. Paul McNally saw you and Sean Francis walking down towards them in training. That was that was going to be a, a fun training session. The fun training was that you go to training and you go in like if you're playing a match because these boys don't make sport. When you go in there, you go to 50-50, they're coming like when they're playing games, they're coming to get the ball. You either dribble them or you either get kicked and you get kicked not easy, you get kicked really hard. Oh yeah, they go in hard. Training is they train like they play a proper match. They don't mess yes, around. Yes, they play. Yeah. That level. No, but the boys just never mess around. You go there to train or you go to get kicked. Which one you want, you will get. <laughs> it is yeah. so. Well, I think deserve, and I think most. I, I'm gonna try and get a few more um, Longford Town 11s from some of the lads. So. I'm pretty sure you're going to feature. Uh, I, I don't know if everybody's going to play the same uh, formation as you as well. You went for the four four two. So. I play four two because four four two is. Um, I think don't care what you play nowadays. People play this one three two. That's a hard work for one striker. You can make your one striker very tired, very quick, mm -hmm. if you don't have the team to um, to play behind it to help them. And the wingers, if they don't work, run and help him, he would be dead without within a half an hour he'd be out you know yeah, so yeah. there were things that you must look at when you are a trainer that you know that you find the right mix that is going <coughs> and not letting the players get um kill out and uh, before the half time you know yeah man 100% so like I'm more of a 3-5-2 myself is my, my I'm, I, I go on for that because it's balanced and it gives um, everybody a chance. Yeah, it yeah. gives everybody a chance to show their abilities and not working on just a um, few players, you know, to give every, everybody gets a, a chance to play and show their, their real because everybody's going to fight for everybody. The team is balanced and you have a good um, a good platform to play football. But when you've got to run behind the ball and concentrate, like you must come back. And then after 10 runs, you're, you're tired, man. You know, you're, you know. You're I not never I, to do anything when you're tired. No, and I hate that. I used to hate it when they're playing like a defender. I have to defend, you know, I'm coming back on my own. I have to run, chase everything on your own. Oh, but I know. I know at, the end of, at the end of the day, it was my job. So I can hate it as much as I want. I'm going to go out there and do my best, give my best, you know? So that's what I used to at do. At the same time, I, as a striker, you want your energy to be going into attacking. You know what I mean? You yeah. Yeah, but you know, when the team, when the team has, 
yeah, when the team got the bike, you know, when we uh, Longford get the bike, you know, don't care of what we play. Sometimes you used to play that from away from home. But I, sometimes, you know, it works. Sometimes it didn't work because sometimes it suit it. Because we have so good players. Why were we playing that? That's what was in my mind. I never said that out to nobody. I was saying, why are we playing this formation? You know, this, this is going to kill us, you know? Yeah, uh, that, that this is the gaffer here. You should have said it to Stephen Kenny. He says, Steve, what, 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 what was uh, Stephen Kenny's preferred formation? It was usually 4 4 2, wasn't it? Yes, yes. What is Stephen Kenny the 4 4 2 man? Stephen Kenny, is, Stephen Kenny can mix it with the best. Stephen Kenny was a fox. <laughs> oh, man. He's a, he is a legend. In yeah. Comfort and, and in everywhere, I think. In Dundalk, he must be absolute. God. I have nothing but respect for the man. The man is a you know, uh, great man. Mm. Nothing but respect for him. Yeah. Uh, he, I think, I think he, he went about his career in a very logical way. You know what I mean? He, he just built his career so steadily. You know, Longford Town, then he went over to Scotland for a while, back to Dundalk, a bit of time with Bowes. You know, he, he put in his time, you know. Even everybody wants Stephen because he knows how to man manage um, players. You know, he knows how to speak to players. You know, when you see Stephen get angry, you know that Stephen gets angry. But that anger don't last forever. You know, that comes down with Stephen speak to you still. You know, like if nothing didn't happen. You know, that's he know how to treat people as human as players. You know, yeah. and don't take it. You know, he don't take it home with him to bed or, or to the next day. If we have something to say to you in front of your face now, and then we go and do the job, get the job done, and then when the game is done, yeah, look, this is Stephen, look, look, I was a bit angry, you know, because we didn't do the job, I suppose, okay. Then we, look, we can get it there um, um, on training pitch, and we can get it right the next day, right? Okay. Good man manager. Yeah, he's a gentleman, man, a lovely man. Yeah, I love yeah. the man. I love the man. You know, Stephen. Uh, that's all I, the words I can say to you that would describe him. You know, but there's only... that fight in him too. Like, like no more than all the players that like Alan Reynolds. Like his the, look at the signings there that he made. Like Alan Reynolds. Uh, you know he was doing. Like he, he he was a great. He had a great eye for a player. Yeah. Like he really a lot of the players that you have selected. There's all they all have a little bit of skill. He came to he came to um, to Galway to sign me. Came to Galway to sign me. You know, two times, not even one time. He came to uh, Galway to sign me. He wanted me. You know, he wanted me. He came two times. The first time I wasn't sure, and I said okay. And I said okay. You know. He knew what he needed, Eric. He knew what he needed. Yeah. He knew that he needed a bit of a star. You know, he needed someone up. You, you, like. You can have your tough nuts all the way up the middle, like your Paul McNally's and all these, but at the top, but when you get up to the top, you need a, you need a, you know, a Sean Francis and you need a, you need an Eric Levine. Well, I was there and I was, it's pleasure. <laughs> but I think, I, was... I think he, you were, he saw, okay, you have a lot of, as a player, you're incredibly talented. As you said, your first touch is just top notch. Mm -hmm. uh, good in the air, but you've got a bit of flair about you, but you also have that bit of steel, you know, like mm -hmm. when you're tough, you're a tougher defender, like coming in on you. And, and I think Kenny liked that, you know, he liked lads that would put their weight around a bit and not get pushed around, you know. Kenny is a man, he loves players that will fight for the team no matter what, you know, mm -hmm. he'd like it, he'd, he'd yeah. love it. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm delighted now he, he, he went on to have such an unbelievable career and, and now he's mm. with, with Ireland, so he's the Irish I'm manager, happy. man. I'm happy, I'm, no, I know that. I, I follow, I do follow him still. Yeah, yeah, legend. Yeah. Great for a great, great, great man. Great man. We could be great in two good years with Ireland. <laughs> so, I hope so. Yeah, I well, hope we wish you know, years, listen, right? listen, you, you know the people in, in, in Ireland, how they are, you know. At yeah, one minute, they're with you, and the next minute, as soon as you lose a few games, they're calling for your head direct. You know, a lot of people, he should not be the trainer. Why shouldn't he be a trainer? Why? Well, I think, Why? And, and if the players don't get behind them, like, they're idiots. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, you, you have to just look at his record uh, in, 
what they did with it on the on the on the nineteenth or on the twenties, what did he do with it? Exactly what what did he do with them? He changed them. Everybody was excited how they play football. Come on. Exactly, yeah, and he's got some good and he'll I hope he'll bring in a whole load of them. Well he must gel them in first. He can't bring them all in at one time because that... in, but um but at the same time uh yeah. he'll he'll do well. I think he'll do very well. Stephen will do well. Stephen, Stephen will do it. Well. Whether anything he help, he's young. He, he he know what he wants. He know what what he wants. He came in and done his job. He changed a lot of people and he um, on the board the FAI, which is I think is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. fantastic job. Mm. He did a great mm. job doing that. Uh, it's a real it's a real fairy tale story, man. Stephen Kenny is the man. He is the man. So let's have a look, a quick recap on your team. My dream team, Eric Levine, 4-4-2. Eric yes. Nets, Barbados yes. International, a legend. Paul mm -hmm. McNally, um, Graham Garton, Sean Dillon and Stephen Paisley, your back four. But, but yeah. So yeah. Dillon should be right, Garton should be left of centre and uh, yeah. McNally should be right of centre. Yeah, exactly. All right, and then Stephen Paisley, your solid left back, hundred percent. Very solid, you know. Right, so you're happy with that. Now, you, I, you know what, when I look at your team, man, it's actually okay. I put <laughs> all right. I'm looking at it here, but Garland should be on the left of center. Dylan should be right back. McNally mm -hmm. should be in center. That's a solid back four, man. That's a class back four. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a really good back four. Like, it I is did. because Garto had the kind of, it's a bit like a young Rio Ferdinand with the ball, you know, kind of sauntering around, very good football. Or McNally's your honest to God, just get it out of there, get the tackles in, heart on the sleeve, give you everything. Then Paisley and Dylan, well, I know Sean Dylan from personal experience. He's just unpassable you can't get past him he's too strong mm -hmm. paisley legend has gone on mm -hmm. a believable career center midfield yeah they, Dean Fitzgerald. Uh -huh. yeah very balanced there very balanced very balanced balance good team. skill good aggression all to them aggressive can play football very nice Balanced team, and then you have Alan Kirby and Prunts out in the wings, Curbs and Prunts. Now, they're two Longford winging legends, man. They've been around forever, you know? Mm -hmm. And very, yeah, perfect. Great. And then Sean Francis and Eric Levine up front, two torturous. Bring that him. For what? In case he cried. Yeah, that's it. See? That's He's crying as well here, Eric, so. Yeah. All the babies, my, babies are crying. No, no, no. No, no, no. My, my son, because he must do his work here. He's learning from home, you see. So sometimes when his mother gets very tough with him, he, you know. Play any football? He, boy, he's a great footballer. he be the next good thing. Is he? Mm hmm. Okay. What's his name? Um, Fabian. Nice one, man. Congratulations. I'm looking forward to hearing about Steve. Yeah, you will see him. You will see him. You will see him. He's will. great. <laughs> the apple you will doesn't see fall him. far from the tree, Eric. The no, no, no. No, no, no. This, this yeah. apple falls very close to the tree, but more like his mother. He, but he can play football. He can nice play football. Man. Great. Well, thanks a million, Eric, for coming on. No problem. Anytime. Like uh, I said, it, yeah, it, yeah, I might get you on. We might have another chat, another stage. Not, not a problem. You know how to find me. You can Perfect. find me anytime. You're an All awesome right. Channel. Good luck with the coaching, okay? Yeah, yeah no. Good. Now have a good day, no? Yeah, you too, man. Peace out. Thanks, buddy. Good. Peace, Peace out. Bye.